Today you'll be learning how to create this modern logo using a grid. Stick around till the end of the tutorial and you'll also get to learn how to create this cool logo grid animation to present your logos more professionally. Hello there fellow designer sitting or laying somewhere behind a screen, I'm Rupen from Jam and today we'll be doing some logos. If it's your first time on the channel or he had a variety of design content for new and intermediate level designers jammed in a short amount of time in order not to bore the crap out of you. If you like this video please make sure to check out my channel for more. Alrighty, no more of the introduction. So today we'll be designing the shield logo constructed on a grid. Why use grids you might ask? Simply for the geometric harmony. Anything that is built out of basic shapes will most likely look better in comparison to freehand. Because as much as we try and perfect things with our hand, it's quite hard to have something look right. Yeah, we aren't perfect after all. So to approach a logo design you first need to at least have an idea or a sketch of what you're going to make. In my case I didn't really need much of a sketch but that's because I knew what I was going for in my head. For constructing a grid always think in basic shapes. Think how you're going to construct your logo using basic shapes in order to maintain harmony and balance. In my case I needed to use circles and triangles. I first have placed my triangle upside down which represents the direction of the shield. Then I have created a circle that is centered with one of the triangle's vertices and made it touch the other vertex. Now select the pen tool, click once at the center of the circle that we just created and then click away using the direct select tool. You will see why in a minute. Now select the circle and the dot you just made and go to object, blend, make. After the step, go to object, blend, blend options. And from the top drop bar, choose the specified steps option. So you can decide on how many lines you need. In my case, I write 10. I believe any number works well. After you apply the settings, head one last time to option, blend and choose expand. This now makes every circle controllable. Now make sure all the circles are selected and group them together by pressing Ctrl or Command G. Now holding Alt or Option key, click on the circles and drag them over to the other vertices of the triangle. Now you have successfully constructed yourself a grid. This is a really important step. Make sure to duplicate over the grid and keep an original version so you wouldn't have to recreate it every time you need to try a new design. And now it's logo time. Now select the entire grid together and click on the shape builder tool to start building shapes. The shape builder tool has two modes. Its normal phase is merging and if you press alt you can subtract. Now I'm going to change the fill color to black to see the shapes that I'm connecting and start drawing over the grid by clicking and dragging. This may be a tedious process for some people, however the end result is always worth it. Make sure to zoom in and pay close attention to what you're merging to make it look sharp. Now that you're done creating the shapes, click on them using the direct select tool or hotkey A. Copy the shapes and paste them over somewhere else on the canvas. Congrats, you have finally reached the end of the video. Don't click away yet. I've promised to show you how to make this cool looking grid animation you see everywhere. Ok, create a new document, doesn't matter what size it is, in my case I'll be doing 1920 by 1080 Make sure the color mode is set to RGB and create it. Now paste the logo that we made in the other document and this document. And remember when I told you to duplicate the grid because we might need it later? Now is the time, grab the grid and paste it in the new document. Make sure the logo and the grid are grouped together separately. Now align both the logo and the grid to the center of the artboard. Now we're going to make 3 different layers in Illustrator. Name the top one grid, the middle one logo, the bottom one background. Make sure that the grid's stroke color is slightly darker than the logo. Now select the grid and click on this thing here in the layers panel and drag it up to the layer named grid. Now do the same thing with the other two elements. After you make sure that everything is on its own separate layer and aligned together, make sure to go and save the file as an Illustrator document. Now we're done with Illustrator. Now head on to After Effects and open a new composition which is 1920 by 1080 and choose 30 fps and create it. Now we're going to drag the illustrator file that we just created and drop it inside of After Effects. Now we're going to double click on the composition that we just imported. Select all three layers together holding shift and right click on them and click create shapes from layers. Everything now is converted to a vector path. Now take the shapes that we created and move them to the top. Now expand the properties of the grid shapes and click on this button over here and add trim paths. Now we're going to animate the strokes as they form. Expand the trim paths property and the start and the end here are the ones that will be controlling. In order to animate these you need to click this icon over here. As you can see we have created two keyframes. Now it's only a matter of trial and error. Move it a couple of keyframes to the front and change the value and see how it plays out. You can pause the video to see how I'm doing it, but you can do it in your own way.
After you're satisfied with the animation, you can add some easing to it. Select all the keyframes and right click on them and then click on keyframe assistant and choose the easy ease or ease in option. This will make your animation generally look smoother. Now you only need to go render it and you're officially done. Thanks for staying till the end of the video. If you learned a thing or two, please leave a like, share this video with your designer friends and make sure to subscribe for more jam design content. Also let me know in the comments what other videos would you like me to make. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.